Welcome to a new episode of Coffee Journey. My name is Cielo Betancourt. I'm the Quality Control Manager at Project Origin and Certified Q Grader here in Australia. This episode will be about how we choose our coffees, what criteria we use to choose these coffees, and what we value as quality coffee. Let's start by considering the question, how is coffee quality categorized? The world of coffee that many of us enjoy every day is categorized by international standards of quality. When we speak of quality, there are two main categories we use in the coffee industry, commercial or commodity coffee and specialty coffee. The category that a particular coffee has directly relates with the price that this coffee can be sold for. What is the difference between how commodity and specialty coffee are priced? Commodity coffee is sold on the world market at a commodity price, known as the C market price. This price has no direct link to the cost of production or effort of a coffee producer. It is driven by supply and demand forces and market speculation. There is also no incentive for a coffee producer to improve their quality based on commodity pricing because commodity price assumes that all coffees from all lots are the same. Specialty coffees, on the other hand, are priced by negotiation between the producer and the buyer. Depending on how high the coffee quality is, the price might be the C market price plus an agreed premium on top called a differential or it can be priced completely independent of the C market price and its value is based on how unique, rare or in demand it is. At Project Origin, we only source a specialty coffee. How do you decide what is commodity and what is a specialty coffee? Coffees are assessed by coffee cupping and green bean grading. Coffee cupping focuses on how coffee tastes, while green bean grading looks at the physical attributes of the beans, such as appearance, moisture content and density. Let's explore some of these assessments. Cupping is the main method used to determine what is commodity and what is specialty. The most widely used cupping standards are the score sheets developed by the SCA and the Cup of Excellence. Professional cuppers rate the quality of a coffee and give scores based on cleanliness, acidity, sweetness, body, flavor, balance, aftertaste and aroma. If a coffee scores below 80 points out of 100, it is considered commodity grade. If a coffee scores 80 points or more, it is considered a specialty coffee. At Project Origin, we work with a specialty coffee that are 83 points and above, and we organize them into our labels, black, green, and gold. The physical appearance of the green beans also help determine the classification of a coffee. When we undergo green grading, we sort through a sample of green beans to find effects, which could affect the physical appearance or the flavor of the final cup of coffee. There are two categories when we look at the physical defects. Category one, or major defects, and category two, or minor defects. Major defect examples include foreign metal, full black, full sour, dried cherry, and fungus damage. Minor defect examples include partial black beans, broken beans, partial sour, parchment or pergamino, and immature beans. We have left some links in the description box below in case you would like a bit more information regarding coffee defects. Now, unfortunately, not all defects can be found by the human eye. Some defects are more flavor-based. Examples of these include tasting phenol, ferment, or mold in the coffee we drink. They could occur during the processing stages or 
due to high temperatures during storage or if moisture content fluctuates during transportation. The combination of these assessments help us to determine if a coffee is classified as a specialty or commodity grade. At Project Origin, we use these assessments, but also we add a few more to decide on which coffees we want to offer. In our next video, we talk specifically about Project Origin's method and philosophy of coffee sourcing. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram so you don't miss our next episode.